A new report, meanwhile, says the U.S. National Security Agency uses technology that can even spy on offline computers. The New York Times report, which is based on documents leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden, says the NSA planted secret devices on 100,000 computers. The devices can reportedly send radio waves to transfer data without being connected to the Internet. The report says the NSA has used the program, codenamed Quantum, to target Russian and Chinese military networks, drug cartels and trade institutions inside the European Union. The U.S. has come under fire for its massive espionage activities on U.S. citizens and residents of other countries and even world leaders. Well, to discuss that further, and I joined Mr. Alex Komninos, who is with the Association for Progressive Communications, and he's now joining us on the line from Germany. Mr. Komninos, thanks a lot for joining us. Now, I want to get your reaction to this, this news that the NSA can even spy on offline computers. Uh, yeah, it seems scary on the outset that a computer can be spied upon when it's even not online. And um, this is called breaching the air gap. Being behind the air gap means that a computer is not online. And uh, many computers are not online for security reasons. Um, so this seems to be targeting computers that are specifically offline for security reasons. On a technical level, uh, it's not so surprising. There was a virus supposedly discovered by a security researcher a number of months ago called Bad Bios, which had the ability to communicate um, actually through inaudible sounds um, transmitted through a sound card, and a German security researcher has uh, replicated such a phenomenon. Um, the NSA is using simpler technology, which is actually radio signal. Um, so on a technical level, it's not too surprising. What worries me more is that um, these uh, radio transmitters to um, spy on computers that are offline have actually been implanted into circuit boards. Um, now, the um, stories, uh, the, the news stories about this don't seem to exactly explain how uh, these uh, transmitters were implanted in circuit boards. So what worries me is that we're, we're slowly, through the NSA and Snowden revelations, um, beginning to not trust software, and now we're not even being able to trust hardware. So um, as a hardware manufacturer, I would also be quite worried about it, and I think it can have quite grave implications for the uh, US hardware industry. And I think we need to ask how these uh, backdoors or, or uh, radio transmitters are being installed in circuit boards and through what process. That, to me, is the scary issue. All right, Mr. Carmino, so, you know, uh, would, would it be fair to say that people's, uh, you know, paranoia about such issues is well-placed now, especially now that, you know, on, on a daily basis almost, we're getting newer and newer revelations about the abilities of the NSA and how it can use technology to spy? Well, uh, as Kurt Cobain said, uh, just because you're paranoid, it doesn't mean they're not out to get you. Um, that's a funny quote, but uh, I think a, a small dose of paranoia can be healthy. And uh, I think we, we should begin to question not just the software that we're using, not just the communications infrastructure, but also the hardware. Um, unfortunately, uh, to find a, a backdoor on a circuit board is a lot harder than to find a backdoor on a piece of uh, software. So, uh, yes, we can be paranoid about it, and uh, I think the paranoia should spur us to uh, be more open in not just how software is created, but also how hardware is created, and to have transparency of a major tech company um, throughout the world, not just in the U.S., but also in China. Okay, we'll leave it there for now, but of course we do appreciate your insight. That was Mr. Alex Komninos with the Association for Progressive Communications speaking to us live on the line from Germany.